Hey everyone, this is Benjamin here from the Akitan Geek. In this tutorial, what I'm going to teach you is what you see on my screen. So I don't want you to get drunk, but I want you to get drunk designing in Canva. So open Canva and let's start designing. This design is actually very easy and within the shortest possible time we are going to be designing this in Canva so don't leave me at any point stick with me to the end so that you can be able to learn every single thing you need to know about this design so let's dive into Canva and let's get started all right so you can see how everything is looking it's very easy so create a new design choose the dimension 1080 by 1350 i'll just have to click on the new page okay and the background color i am using i'm not using white but some sort of like an off-white which is e8 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 and that's what we have over here okay the next thing we have to do is to come into element in element to set your paper tear and once you search for it you see so many options over here but this is what we would be working with okay so increase the size you know and position somewhere here and and rotate it slightly you know and have it here and we'll also you know increase the size okay so you can see what we are trying to do over here now duplicate it okay by using ctrl d or oh, let me just close this okay and then um, rotate it more like this then you come to edit image and edit image come to dual tone or just search for dual tone you should find something like that okay and choose any color of the choice you can choose the sea green over here okay and apply it to your design okay and this color would actually be dependent on the color of the bottle you are actually going to use i'm going to use heinaken and heinaken is green and that's why i'm choosing the green color but you know at a point we might even change this because if it's not matching with um, the heinaken bottle we we'll just have to change but we just want to use this for now okay all right so the next thing i'll do is to go into my upload and that's where i have my heinaken bottle and if you also want to use the same uh, my heinaken bottle all i'll need you to do is to go to the elements.africanheats.com that's the website where you find any element at all i use in my tutorials okay then search for heinaken it's easy as that okay so i will just come into my upload and search my heinaken bottle huh? so here's my bottle i add it and you can see the color is actually different okay so i will center it over here choose this you know the paper tear or the colored paper tear and i'll go back into my upload so what i can do is i can just choose any of you know these dual tone effects and then um, come into my color and i'll uh, use the color picker you know to actually change the color okay so i duplicate this and copy no i'll actually copy not duplicate so i'll copy this color code okay come to the shadows and i'll also paste it over here and that's all you need to do so you can see how it's looking at the moment okay so now that we have it over here i would just allow my canva to save my design and while canva is saving my design i want to use this opportunity to tell you about some few interesting things the first thing is canva pro so just in case you are looking at doing more inside of canva when it comes to removing background images publishing canva designs directly from canva to any social media platform adding multiple brand kits uploading custom fonts having more animation options when it comes to working with teams or large larger teams inside of Canva, all of this is possible. So I have a link in the description box below that can help you use Canva Pro for free. So kindly check it out and start using Canva Pro today. The next thing I want to talk to you about is the 60 photo descriptions ebook I have created for you. This contains 60 descriptions you can just copy and paste into Canva and find high quality images inside of Canva. And the last thing is I've also upgraded my assorted canva templates from 20 to 65 templates so now you have more templates you can actually use for anything at all you want so all these links can be found in the description box below okay so now that everything is looking okay what we just have to do is i would first of all click on this okay save now come to edit image and i'll choose shadows okay in shadows i'll just choose the backdrop okay then click on it again and um, choose the top right i believe so uh -huh, so that the shadow can be at the top over here okay then with the blur increase the blurriness a little bit the transparency should be reduced and the offset should also be reduced so that it's not too transparent you understand okay then click on apply after you do that duplicate this okay and position it here and duplicate it again and position it here okay then select all using the shift key and reduce the size okay so once you reduce the size you just have to send it backward okay and this is how everything is looking very easy and very simple okay so select everything over here okay using the shift key and you can increase the size all together okay so i believe this is actually looking sweet okay so with the the paper 
matter we have behind duplicate it and rotate it to zero okay then we will reduce the size position it somewhere here okay and i'll just you know crop it copy it like this okay then just move it up a little bit then maybe select everything and unselect these two so i'll move it up more so that everything will be looking like this so you can see we are almost done with it so the next thing we just have to do is to add our text behind so i press t on my keyboard and i'm just going to spell out heineken so h-e-i-n-e-k-e-n heineken a friend gets to tell me it's called heineken i i get to pronounce as heineken <laughs> okay so i would increase the size and the name of the font is called or the typeface is called gagalen okay so i would um, position it here and also position it here and i will move it to the top okay then duplicate it position it down here then canvas should be smart enough okay so you can see how it's looking select all of them using the shift key okay then come to color and change the color to the green okay i don't know how color gets to affect um you know typeface so it means that i'd have to apply the color to this and uh, it looks like i have to just take all of this okay i don't know why i have to now do this <laughs> okay then duplicate position it here duplicate 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 and select all of this okay right click send to the back so this is how it's looking and the next thing we just have to do is to come back into element then we would go into the paper tear okay and let's just go there again or this time around you can just search for paper okay that's all we need so just search for paper instead and there are so many ones over here so you can choose any one of your choice and i'll position it here i'll just choose my text because i don't want to now add everything all over again okay so then i paste it here oh so let me just so all i just want to do is i'll just select this text because i don't want to retype the whole thing out and i'll paste it here okay you can do that but i wouldn't okay <laughs> yeah that's why i'm making the tutorial <laughs> okay so i'll duplicate this bottle also you know and i would you know i just need half of the bottle position it here duplicate it and um, at this point i would also cut the side out and position it here then i come to edit image come to adjust and increase the blurriness of this and i'll just copy the filter code select this one and paste it here okay so you see what we have at the moment then all we can just say at the bottom is drink responsibly just in case you're not drinking responsibly kindly drink responsibly just in case you take alcohol i unfortunately i don't not unfortunately but i just don't okay so yes this is what we have been able to create and i hope you enjoyed this tutorial make sure to check my channel for more canva tutorials like this video to support it subscribe if you haven't and also if you are new the name is benjamin don't forget there is no limit to creativity i should see you in my next tutorial